Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, customers brought us 2006 Chrysler 300 with a 2.7 V6. Today, we're going to be showing you how to install two coil packs, one of which is on the passenger side under the intake manifold, the other of which is on the driver's side. So, let's get into it. First, we're going to start by removing the breather hose. Just eight millimeter on the clamps. We'll set that aside. Unfasten the clip and throttle body and the map sensor here. These plugs can be a little tricky sometimes. Get those wires folded over out of the way. Now on the back side here, we've got the vacuum line that feeds or breather, I mean a uh, booster, and another vacuum hose. And we just pull those off like so. Uh, we have our intake manifold runner control to unplug like that. And we've got a couple of brackets right here to get loose. If you look close, it looks like somebody's already had those out before and didn't put the bolts back, so. That'll help us remove it, but we'll put some bolts in it when we reassemble. Just 10 millimeter nuts on top. We really don't even have to remove these since somebody's already left them out, but we'll loosen them up to help us get them out. Okay. pipe here and just 10 millimeter bolts after that to hold the plenum. We'll start in the middle. that may be oh yeah I believe so let's see if it'll come loose here oh yeah we've got an EGR pipe in the back that will remain in place and just slide off cut that off for me Thing on that transmission pipe. Tell you what. <clears throat> Here we go. A little more difficult than I thought, but we got it. We'll just set that out of the way. Now the coil that we're after in this case is Cylinder number three. Oh, it's just plug one ten mil bolt. <clears throat> and that's our bad one. Just set it to the side. A bolt on our magnet tray, and let me grab the spark. I 
believe the torque spec on these is 18 foot pounds. And we back. All right, put a little anti seize on our plug on the threads. I'm just going to use the gun just to run the threads down, but not tighten. And the torque wrench. Okay. We'll grab our coil. Snap apart IC582, Irene Charlie 582. We have a little dielectric grease to put inside the boot. Just a little. Our 10 mil. I'm just gonna snug. And reconnect. Of course, anytime we remove this plenum, we need to change out our gasket. Stubborn, stubborn little gasket. I'm going to clean the surface where our gasket sits until we get a proper seal. Gasket part number MS91476. Just literally push into place. Like that. Let's see if I can move this out of the way. That might help us get a little more room to put that Plant them back on. I always like to take a little bit of grease and put on this seal here just to help it slide back on. It can be kind of stiff. Also inside of here, just to help things slide. Well, I didn't really get none on there, but not too much, just a little, just to help things move. All right. Don't look too bad. Wipe it down. I think we'll go ahead and remove these all the way now. And the other one here. Pulling these back, spinning them back, that'll help them stay up and not fall down and get in my way. Like, like that. All right. 
see if we can get this joker vote down in there. Uh, need to go right there, maybe. No. Maybe a little further down here. Ah, there we are. No, it sounds a little violent, but it's perfectly all right. Now we gotta line up our EGR tube. After I get this other tube pulled up and through. And we'll get our EGR tube, and there's the hole. And you see, here. Yeah. All right. There's that pesky EGR tube. Yeah. Ah. Well, what exactly are we hitting on? Oh. Get our bolts down. I'm just gonna run these down just a little, but not tighten. We will torque these to spec. And in sequence. Okay. I've already looked up the torque spec on it. It's 105 inch pounds, which comes to 8.75 foot pounds. And you want to torque these slow this plastic you don't want to clamp on it too fast We'll reconnect this hose, this hose, this one for the booster. Put the trans fill tube back in. Have our plug for the intake manifold runner. We also have to change this spark plug and coil. We'll get it right now while the breather's still out of the way. Like before, 10 mil. You can see in that coil that just came out of the number four hole there, how it's starting to split and, and uh, rupture. Little anti seize on the plug threads. Started, just gonna snug it down with this. Okay. 
Tools to plug. Dielectric on my coil boot, 10 mil. And reconnect the connector. And we can plug up our throttle body. Map sensor. And grab our breather intake air temp sensor reconnect Put these back on the other side. I'm gonna have to dig up a couple of bolts since somebody left these out before, but it shouldn't be too hard to do. First one goes right here. Oh, I guess I got that backwards, don't I? I located a couple of bolts here. Put our nut back on the top. I had to remove it to get the bottom to start. And our 10 mil ratchet wrench. Come back in a minute and snug the bottom one down. And we'll try to do the same back here. You have to get your arm way back in there. And there it is. It helps if you have small arms. Imagine this would be kind of tough for a big guy. I'm gonna run that in as far as I can with my fingers before I put a tool on it. I'll grab my own 10 mil bolt. See if we can get this nut on there without dropping it again. All right, now we get these bottom ones tight. The bolts I replaced them with are now 13 mil. I'm sure they were probably 10 millimeters from the factory, but like I said, somebody left them out. We're gonna put them back. It's tight. Now we're gonna start the car and clear out the coats and we'll take it for a test drive. But that's how you remove the intake plenum and install two coils on an 06 Chrysler 300.